Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video and actually this is just like a sequel to this enhanced toggle script because uh, I did receive uh, two questions. First one is uh, can we instead of uh, selecting a system for some installation just uh, select category and the second question is okay if I don't want to use millimeters can I use the fees for filtering that land? So we will check both of that. I did uh, simplified this enhanced uh, tag goal script in order to work in this way to select just a category. So the thing is you will probably go into the some view uh, where you want to have your tags. Uh, then you will run the script. And now you will also see that user interface is also simplified. So uh, the only thing which you need to fill and choose uh, over here is now the category so it's not the system anymore it's category so for example let's play a little bit with the duct and we want to ignore uh, some element land let's at the, at the beginning let's uh, stay with the zero and we don't have uh, currently any tags so i will go with the set values in this way i, sh I should uh, tag all ducts which i have here in the view and uh, you did also see that uh, I did um, basically delete that option for height check because I was not satisfied with the result of that option. And uh, at the moment, I don't have any other idea for, for that logic, which uh, can check that uh, change in elevation. So now we will play a little bit more with the duct. So over here we have a length. 1.1 meters so now if we run the script again and for example i will choose again duct so let's go with i don't know two meters and i want to delete all existing tags set values so now i have only the tags uh, for the ducts which length is about those two meters and i don't have a duplicate uh, tags so it's only one tag for only one duct that is okay if we want to play further for example this duct over here have almost 12 meters so if we choose again here duct let's say 11 meters i want to raise everything uh, and i have actually two ducts so also this duct over here it's about 11 meters and that is okay uh, now if you want to check if the script work also for the pipes cable trace and the conduit Let's just quickly see that. So now the categories, for example, pipes. Let's go right away with uh, length half a meter. And we don't have any existing tags. So, okay, now we have a lot of tags. And the typical length over here is uh, less than a two meters. So let's play now a little bit with those tags. So it's pipes two meters I want to delete the existing tags and that is okay again we don't have duplicate tags so for one pipe we have only one tag okay uh, let's just briefly show uh, the same for the cable tray and the conduit cable tray this is I think um, 2 point something meters so I will go with 3 meters set value so I have over here I have over here but here yeah it's below 3 meters also over here for the conduits okay so it works now for I show you uh, how how I did modify that script. Let's also talk uh, regarding the units. So you did see over here that I'm using millimeters, but if I just uh, call the project units dialog, um, you can see the length is millimeters. So now if I switch to, to feet, for example, and now again, I want to, to run the script. Uh, let's go, for example, with pipes. So first of all, let's just delete all the tags so the pipes i will say i don't know something huge and i want to delete existing so basically i did delete all tags which i have right now so now let's see let's play again 
So in feet we have uh, almost 6.5. So I will say run. Uh, and I will say pipes. Let's go with two set values. We will have a lot of tags. Now let's go again. Pipes. I don't know. H. I want to delete existing. And that's it. So it works. Uh, it doesn't matter if uh, the project unit is meters, millimeters, uh, feet, or something else. So the script should work uh, regardless of the unit. Just make sure that what you are typing is also set as a project unit for the land. So uh, if the feet is selected in the project unit, you can uh, use feet also in the script. And now I will just show you Dino script. Here it is. I think it's the third of the size of that original script. So what we have here is input zone. So first of all, we need to choose which category we want. And here I did play a little bit. So actually, I will present to the user categories, pipes, ducts, cable trace, and conduits. So for each category, I also have category regarding the tags. So my idea was, OK, I will, I will offer to the user category for the installation, but I will actually took which category the user wants for the tag. That will save me a, a little bit of uh, the nodes uh, further. This part stay like before, so uh, we need to enter the value regarding the length, which we want to filter, and also if we want to delete existing tags. Now we need to read all those inputs, uh, and over here, uh, here is the catch with um, that input. Let's, for example, run the script. I don't know for ducts, I don't know what we have. Let's go with zero. And we want to delete existing tags. So you can see that I actually choose ducts, but I have here as input duct tags. So regarding the uh, recognition of the category, it's easy with this node. So I have a name uh, and I will turn that to category. That is OK. But over here, I must have something like that, or maybe you can uh, find some fancy way to do this. But actually, I, I just have some uh, multiple if-else statement. So if the user choose pipe tags, I will go with pipes. If the user choose duct tags, I will go with ducts, and so on and so on. OK. Uh, and OK, I did recognize the category for the tag over here. But actually, now I know uh, also which category for installation the user choose. I will also switch that to category, so it's a string to, to category. And then I will find all the elements in this active view for that category. That is OK. And now I need to filter, so I need to know uh, the length for each element, and I need to filter that. So the user chose that we should go with uh, length above 0, so actually we will not have anything to filter over here. But when the user chose 1 meter or 3 feet, then we will compare that with the actual length of the element and we will filter over here. OK, and also we need to delete existing tags if user choose that we need to do that. Over here we did check that box, so it's true, we should delete those tags. And again, I will find all the elements for that category in the active view. And if here I have a true, so if I have true uh, value over here, if the user wants to delete existing tags, I will proceed with uh, this list of the elements. Uh, if not, I will just have some uh, random uh, value over here in the term of, of the tags. So I, I just want to make uh, sure that uh, anything will not execute over here if that value is false. OK. And over here, just before I create new tags, uh, I don't want to have a situation where I did create new tags and then I did delete existing and also new tags. I have this pass through um, node from the clockwork. So, first of all, I need to delete uh, all existing tags if the user wants, and then I will create those new tags. And that is it. That, that is basically the entire script. It's very simplified. And uh, of course, if you want to use this script in this way, uh, feel free to do that. Thank you for watching. Bye.